Did you know this show has more stars than Star Trek? More holes than the black hole. More puckles than Apocalypse Now. It's the Cammy Everett Show. Oh, oh, the Cammy Everett Show. Show, boo, show, boo, show, boo. show boo. And guess who's in it? Yes, me. And we're going to have lots of stuff as well, like loads of records and bunches of oldies that'll just burst your brain buds. It's almost ten minutes past eleven, and we'll be right back after this. Oh, no, this is the BBC, isn't it? I was just looking at the champagne we're drinking. It's called Old Fella Red, sent in by a listener. It says, on, uh, on the label, it says, an unusual roughest guts wine that has the distinctive bouquet of old and ill-cared-for animals. It is best drunk with the teeth clenched to prevent ingestion of seeds and skins. Connoisseurs will savour the slight taste of burnt shag, feathers and soiled medical dressings. Possessors of a cultivated palate admire the initial assault on the taste buds, which comes from the careful and loving blend of circus hosings. It won a bronze at the King's Cross Homosexuals Convention of 73. Caution! Avoid contact with the eyes and open cuts. Keep away from naked flames, both old and new. <laughs> Oh yes, this is Radio 2. So let's have fun, 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 fun. This program is being brought to you by Kamikaze Motorcycles, the only motorcycle in the world that has no brakes. And now, here is the weather for men. It'll be cloudy, I'm afraid. It's awful rotten out there. I'm afraid God's not on form today. I'll have to have a word with him through my agent. I'll tell you what, let's have a commercial. Let's have a little breaky poo. Let's have a little breaky poo. We'll be back in just a sec. There's very little a modern video recorder can't do. The model we chose for our video rental service, for instance, can be preset up to eight days in advance to record your favorite show. It will record whatever you happen to be watching, or at a touch of a switch, it will record one channel while you watch another. It will remove those irritating little stains which always seem to spoil your new hush puppies on their first day out. It can cook the lightest imaginable lemon sponges, propel a small moped at twice the speed of sound, read Sanskrit, cure cancer, exterminate entire races, arbitrate in union disputes, and make love like a wildcat. Not for nothing is this magnificent machine called the Ferguson God. Call us and we'll deliver a God to your home for an obligation-free trial. But make sure you judge it before it judges you. Hello. My name's Doris Thorne. I was a happily married average young housewife with 18 children. Until one day... I was struck with cirrhosis. Unclean. 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 Yet another unhappy housewife who just hasn't heard of Croxton's thigh jelly. Hello, I'm Dr. Harrison Blit, your home thigh consultant. All today's thigh problems can be immediately solved by applying large handfuls of Croxton's thigh jelly. Thighs need thigh jelly. Your thighs will love Croxton. Radio Luxembourg, your station on the stairs, sent out a press release last week stating that they would interrupt the non-stop pop records to bring their eager listeners the move-by-move -move results of the Fisher v. Spassky chess game. Folks, <laughs> this by special arrangement, they say, with the Icelandic Chess Federation. This means that not only will the teeny boffers be able to groove to T-Rex and Goldie and the Gingerbreads, but they'll also be able to take part in a chess game as they groove. <laughs> We interrupt this record to bring you a play-by-play -play results direct from the playing hall Reykjavik. Spassky has taken Fisher's knight, but Fisher is counterattacking by going for Spassky's pawn. That result was brought to you by... It's new. It's psychedelic. Try Alice D's brain softener. Yeah. Is life getting you down? Take Alice D and be the envy of your friends. Where it's at is happening. 
Ladies and gentlemen, do you remember years ago when the light program, as it was then, used to open on Mondays like this? Ah, God bless it. And on Tuesdays like this. They had two signature tunes, and they used to alternate the two. I used to get up with my VHF set every morning to listen to that tune. <gasps> oh, I was a keen BBC fan in those days. I still wake up screaming Sylvia Peters for Pope. Well, I decided the other day to dig down in the bowels of the Beeb and pick up some old programmes that you might like to hear again. I went down and saw if I could find the first episode of The Archers, but I'm afraid it's lost for posterity. <laughs> Still, I did manage to find episode 302, which was recorded uh, the 11th of the 3rd, 1952. And surprisingly enough, it hasn't changed to this day. Listen. So here I am reporting for duty. Uh, what, dressed like that? Oh, what's wrong? Oh, nothing. You look marvellous. The, the slacks are smashing and the sweat is just the job. They're far too good for working clothes. The slacks are smashing and the sweat is just the job. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I also dug up something that I knew you'd go mental about. Journey into space. Do you remember Journey into space? <laughs> Do you remember how we used to sit every Monday night, glued to the radio, as Charles Chiltern would pour eeriness into our ear holes? Well, I dug up a dusty old 78 uh, called Journey into Space, episode 18, recorded in 1954. Okay, Jeff. Okay. Okay. Cut the stern teleview, Lemmy. Switch on forward view. Teleview, forward view on. There she is, the Earth, directly ahead. You said that, Mitch, as though you hadn't seen it in years. Oh, I feel like I haven't. But you saw it not 50 minutes ago, just before we took off from the moon. Uh, position, Lemmy. Coming into center. Five degrees. Doc, stabilizer. Stabilizer. Four degrees. Mitch, motor. Oh, wait a minute. Huh? What's the matter? Well, the fuel. There's hardly any left. What? But you said there was plenty. Oodles of it, you said. Well, there's not now. Something's wrong. We've lost it somewhere. Three degrees. We must have used up much more than you thought. But we couldn't have done not on a moon takeoff. We shouldn't have used half of it. Two degrees. Have we got enough to set us on course for Earth? Just about, but no more. Then stand by to switch in motor. All right. Standing by. One degree. Contact. Sure, sure magic. magic. Oh. Stored in the same brain compartments as Eagle Magazine, Film Fun, Merry Malcolm, Whirly Gig, and Muffin the Mule. The true essence of British wireless. Beat that, Tony Blackburn. Life is funny. It's odd. It's a, it's a it's a rather amusing joke, really. I mean, there are parts of life that you think are absolutely not funny, like war and being poor and hungry. That's not funny at all. But you you can't spend all your time thinking, oh God, it must be awful to be hungry. You just got to get on with it and make it as much fun for yourself and other people as possible. I mean, sure, no regret, Irene. I mean, pretty wonderful idea. Goodbye to Kenny Jingle, and the Rutty is a very powerful. Jingle, Goodbye jingle, to Kenny jingle, and the Rutty is a very powerful. Goodbye jingle, to Kenny jingle, and the Rutty is a very powerful. Goodbye, Kenny Everett. Goodbye to Kenny Everett. Jingle, he is a very powerful. Goodbye, Kenny Everett. Goodbye to Kenny Everett. Jingle, 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 Thank you, John. Wonderful. Thank you, Paul. <laughs> Goodbye, Kenny. It's nice to see you back. Oh. <laughs> Bye, Kenny. We hire you got the sack. Oh. Goodbye, Kenny. See you in the morning. Goodbye, Kenny. See you in the morning. Bye, Kenny. Goodbye, Paul. Bye, Kenny.